For 150 years, scientists have been puzzled by the fate of the Neanderthals. Why such a strong, well-adapted species disappeared? One of the world's leading anthropologists, Ian Tattersall, believes we're to blame. Our ancestors must have forced the Neanderthals into extinction. Homo sapiens modern humans evolved in Africa. We didn't set foot on European soil until about 40,000 years ago. But once we did, it was only a matter of time before we ran into the inhabitants of this continent, the Neanderthals. Modern humans would clearly have seen something very similar to themselves in these uh, creatures that they encountered in this new world that they were entering. But I don't think that they would have identified with each other particularly closely. And I think they would have uh, perceived themselves as being in competition. Did modern humans simply slaughter the Neanderthals? Or was the interaction more subtle? Instead of killing them, perhaps we outcompeted the Neanderthals. We may have been better at finding different sorts of food. Whatever happened, modern humans, our ancestors, won out. Today, it's obvious who dominates the planet. Neanderthals are no more. But anthropologist John Hawkes believes this version of the story is way too simple. He thinks that modern humans were not really so different from the Neanderthals. When they met, our ancestors would have been curious, not hostile. It would be insane to go out and pick a fight. You're not a military organization going in, you know, looking to conquer. You're a small group yourself. <laughs> You sort of have to, you know, find a way to live with the locals, and as you do that, you learn from them to some extent. And the locals learn from you. I feel like the defense attorney for the Neanderthals sometimes. I'm trying to see the ways that they overlap with us and trying to add complexity to the story because any story that involves things happening over a continent over thousands of years, it's gotta be complicated. It's a time. How far might the overlap have gone? Instead of making war, perhaps they made love. And the two species exchanged genes. It's an intriguing idea, but hard to prove. The fossils are inconclusive. The answers lie in DNA. An international team of geneticists is trying to crack the Neanderthal code. It's a hugely ambitious project that could reveal who the Neanderthals really were and whether their genes live on inside of us.